Hey guys, welcome to Decorating with Barbara. In today's video, I'm going to share some tips and ideas on how to decorate with neutral colors. Neutrals come in quite an array of colors. You can get navies, blacks, grays, browns, purple, green, all type of colors in a neutral color palette. And when I'm choosing a color for a customer, this is the color palette that I will choose first before I choose any of the other colors that Sherwin-Williams offer. And I go to Sherwin-Williams because I am familiar with their color, uh, their neutral color palette, and that's just one that has been tried and true. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you how you can incorporate some textures into your neutral color palette, some different um, subtle patterns to keep your neutrals from being boring. Someone had mentioned that neutrals are boring and they really are not and they're really fun to decorate with. And I just wanted to share my experience with you guys and how I decorate around my home using neutral colors. Okay, so I have three different areas set up here where I wanna share with you how I decorate with neutrals. So this first little grouping, it has um, the metal with the lantern, and the metal is in like a warm silver with a little hint of gold, which kind of warms up the silver a little bit and um, makes it not be as cold. And then I have the uh, charger in the back, and guys, you don't always have to use a charger for under your plate. Sometimes if it's nice enough um, and it has enough um, color or pattern, go ahead and put it in a plate stand and put it maybe in the a corner of your, on your countertop. Um, and then I have a textured pillow with a textured throw. They're all neutral, but they have lots of texture that just makes the neutral colors just kind of pop out a little bit. And then I have a little galvanized um, container that um, held a candle from Pier 1. And I'm going to get a close-up on this so you guys can see the fragrance. Uh, rosemary, mint, and um, I'm not sure if they still sell this, but that candle, oh my goodness, it, it is absolutely fabulous. Love the scent. And um, I'm keeping the container because it's pretty interesting. It's galvanized, it has a little bit of uh, burlap on the front, and I like anything with script. And so I'm just hanging on to that, and I will just use that in different vignettes. And then I have it sitting on top of some books. Now these are just old books that I got from, I don't know, Dollar Tree or Goodwill, and I took off the covers and um, took a piece of scrapbook paper and cut it to size. And once again, I like anything with script and I just placed a um, sheet to the uh, size of the book and then tied it with some twine. And I will use that in a vignette. And so that gives me texture with the writing, the naturalness of the books and then the twine. And then you always need greenery when you're decorating, um, especially with these neutral colors. Okay, so then here I have a little um, textured galvanized pan, and this can be used for florals, or if you have a tall enough candle, which sometimes I put a really tall candle in it, and I like the simplicity of that. And then of course, um, here's a little stripe, in cream and gray with a little galvanized um, napkin ring. And then I have these plates that are in white with um, tan trim and then the little um, chicken in the charcoal gray. And I just love that color palette. I got these Dollar Tree placemats that I got 
I don't know, maybe back in the fall. And those are a really good mix with the faux wood grain and then the um, gray lettering and then the antique looking fork and knife. I just love that. And I thought that was really, really cute of uh, Dollar Tree. So that is one look. And then I have the textured candlesticks in the back. And I think all of this just adds to the texture of your neutral colors without being boring. Now that's just my opinion. Okay, so moving on here, I have more texture starting with this runner and it is in a uh, woven, kind of a white and it has silver lurex thread running through and then the bottom detail has a little um, tan fringe and it also has lurex thread on it and then I'm just coupling this little vignette or this uh, grouping here with some shiny metals with the silver and then some cream and of course don't forget to add your greenery. And then over here, I have a different grouping, which is a little bit more warmer in tone. There's still tans and grays, but I've mixed in some warm tan. And again, I have the script um, that I love, and I will always try to incorporate that somewhere. There's something else. And then, of course, with this particular grouping, I still think it's important to add a little metal to break up some of the tones. And um, I have flowers in the vase, which are a light color, which is really pretty. And I also like to add in something like this. It is um, a um, glass bottle with the wire mesh in black. And I like adding black in subtle ways, not in real heavy uh, patterns or like in, even in the candlesticks over here, they're not solid. They, um, you know, they're open where you can see through. And that's how I like adding blacks um, when I'm dealing with neutral patterns uh, or neutral colors. And of course the clock has a little uh, black rim and then here, the pillow is in a neutral color, but it has black writing on it. Now, here's another example here with the black pillow with white writing. And then I have a textured throw and a cable knit. Okay guys, so now that you have seen some of the neutral colors. I want to share with you now how to incorporate a little color. Okay guys, so before I go, I wanted to share with you my favorite neutral wall color. And I have it in my home, and it is Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore. And this is my all-time favorite neutral color. It has warm undertones, and every time that I have seen it in someone's home, it is beautiful. If you're looking for a warm gray that would go with reds, blues, oranges, any color, I would check this color out. Okay guys, so I hope this was helpful to someone. 
I'm not sure if I have convinced anyone to come over to Team Neutral, but if you still would like to add color, any of these little groupings you can add any color to. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the new year. And I just want to wish you all a very safe, happy, and prosperous new year. And I will see you in 2019. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.